The term mental illness is used to refer to a wide range of conditions that can have an adverse effect on a person's mental health. They have the potential to influence how you think, feel, and comprehend the wider world. Mental diseases make it difficult to function in everyday life, including working, going to school, maintaining relationships, and doing even the most basic of chores. Here are the top 10 mental health issues and illnesses. Number 10. Eating Disorders. The three most frequent types of eating disorders are anorexia, bulimia, and binge eating disorder. Many individuals who struggle with eating disorders report that they do not feel in control of other aspects of their lives. The only thing they have any say over is what goes into or comes out of their body, and that is the food. Reducing one's caloric intake is the primary focus of treatment for anorexia. A person who suffers from bulimia will engage in episodes of binge eating, during which they consume an extremely high number of calories. After they have finished binge eating, they will have feelings of shame and an intense want to purge the food that they have eaten. Binge eating disorder is characterized by the ingestion of excessive quantities of food but not their subsequent purge. The severity of the guilt cannot be denied. Number 9. Phobias. Phobias are another sort of anxiety illness that can affect people. A person is said to have social anxiety disorder, also known as social phobia, when daily situations trigger feelings of self-consciousness and worry in that person. They let a single concern consume their thoughts for days and even weeks at a time. As is the case with panic disorder, social anxiety can sometimes progress to agoraphobia by making sufferers feel so overpowered by fear that they avoid engaging in activities or even leaving the comfort of their own homes. Number 8. Substance Use Disorder Because mental health issues and drug use disorders can occur simultaneously, it is vital to receive treatment for both types of diseases. More than one in four persons who struggle with major mental health conditions such as anxiety, depression, schizophrenia, and personality disorders also have a substance use disorder. These conditions include alcohol and drug dependency. People who have been given a dual diagnosis are required to obtain treatment for both of their problems. Number 7. Schizophrenia. It is a severe mental illness that can manifest in a variety of ways, including hallucinations, delusions, or a complete lack of emotional expression. People who suffer from schizophrenia often struggle to think clearly, keep their emotions in check, make sound judgments, and form meaningful connections with others. Despite the fact that the condition can manifest itself at any age, it most commonly manifests itself in men between the ages of late teens and early 20s and in women between late 20s and early 30s. Number 6. Bipolar Disorder. People who suffer from bipolar disorder are among those who can experience extreme shifts in their mood, ranging from extremely high to dangerously low points. The extremes are so severe that they can cause harm to relationships, result in poor academic or career performance, and possibly lead to suicidal thoughts or behavior. It is estimated that 2.6% of the population in the United States has been diagnosed with bipolar illness, and of those cases, over 83% are considered severe. The majority of persons are diagnosed with bipolar disorder by the age of 25. When you are depressed, you may have feelings of sadness or hopelessness, and you may find that most activities no longer bring you interest or pleasure. When your mood switches to manic or hypomanic, you may feel ecstatic, full of energy, or particularly irritable. Mania and hypomania are both forms of manic depressive illness. These shifts in mood can have a negative impact on a person's ability to sleep, as well as their energy, activity, judgment, and behavior. It's possible that mood swings happen once in a blue moon or several times a year. Even though the vast majority of people will feel some form of emotional symptom between episodes, there are those who will not experience any at all. You are able to keep your mood swings and other symptoms under control if you adhere to a treatment plan even though bipolar illness is a condition that lasts a lifetime. The majority of patients with bipolar illness are treated with a combination of psychotherapy and pharmaceuticals. Number 5. Insomnia. Insomnia refers to either the inability to fall asleep or to maintain sleep after it has begun. Even if you are successful in falling asleep, it may be challenging to go back to sleep if you wake up in the middle of the night. Insomnia is a disorder that can be linked to other mental health conditions such as anxiety and depression. 
taking particular drugs or working with a professional in the field of mental health to develop healthier sleeping patterns or both can dramatically improve symptoms. Additionally, if you determine the source of your sleeplessness, it will be much simpler for you to find a solution to the problem. Number 4. Depression. Millions of teenagers and adults across the United States and the rest of the world suffer from depression. The symptoms can be different for each individual. Some people experience feelings of melancholy and start crying for no apparent reason. Some people are finding that they are sleeping more than normal and that they are filled with dread whenever they consider the prospect of beginning their day. Some people with severe depression have feelings of helplessness and may even entertain suicidal ideas. Ketamine therapy is a new treatment. Research has shown that it alleviates many negative symptoms of depression, including thoughts of self-harm, and it is effective. Number 3. Anxiety. There is a broad spectrum of symptoms that can be associated with anxiety disorders, ranging from generalized worry to panic attacks. Anxiety disorders are characterized by a number of symptoms, some of which include fear, dread, and inability to sleep, post-traumatic stress disorder, nightmares, racing thoughts, and phobias. There is no one test that can definitively diagnose anxiety. A diagnosis of anxiety, on the other hand, calls for a time-consuming approach that includes psychological surveys, physical examinations, and tests of mental health. In order to rule out any underlying medical disorders that could be contributing to the symptoms that you are experiencing, some doctors or other healthcare professionals may perform a physical checkup on you, which may include testing your blood or urine. A specialist in mental health can evaluate your symptoms and help determine the precise type of mental illness that you may be battling with. Number 2. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. The condition was once referred to as Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder but in recent years it has been renamed due to the discovery that some persons with the condition exhibit hyperactivity without also having attention problems. Impulsive behaviors are frequently seen alongside other indicators of ADHD. You might have heard that Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder is more common in children, but in reality, half of all children who have it do not outgrow it and instead develop mostly inattentive symptoms as adults. Number 1. Post-traumatic stress disorder. People who have been through terrible experiences are more likely to develop post-traumatic stress disorder. Some examples of traumatic experiences that can lead to post-traumatic stress disorder include active combat, sexual abuse, and natural disasters. The inability to exercise control over one's thoughts regarding the traumatic event is one of the hallmarks of post-traumatic stress disorder alone with acute anxiety, nightmares, and flashbacks. It's possible that the thoughts and memories connected to the traumatic event that you survived are overwhelming. The onset of symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder can occur as soon as one month after a traumatic event, yet, in some cases, symptoms won't manifest themselves for years after the event. These symptoms bring about substantial difficulties in social and working environments, as well as in personal relationships. They can also make it difficult for you to carry out the activities that are typical on a given day. In most cases, the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder can be broken down into one of four categories, intrusive memories, avoidance, unfavorable changes in thinking and mood, and changes in physical and emotional reactions. The manifestation of symptoms might shift over time and differ from one individual to the next. There is a recently developed therapy technique for PTSD that has shown considerable improvement. The treatment is known as eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, or EMDR for short. However, it must be carried out by an EMDR professional who possesses a valid license. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.